our third and final selection could very well decide the title. First place Liverpool play host to second place Manchester City. And Liverpool needed 100 minutes to pick up their winning goal against Nottingham Forest in their last game. Darwin Nunez flicked a header with finesse past a helpless cells in goal for Liverpool to pick up all three points to remain top of the tree. This does mean that Liverpool have now recorded four straight wins and six wins in a row in all contests ahead of their Europa League tie against Sparta Prague. For the away side, Manchester City beat Manchester United by three goals to one most recently in the Manchester derby. A game that was frankly not as competitive as the scoreline would suggest, and in some ways the one goal flatters Man United. In terms of form, City have won four in a row now, and they're unbeaten in each of their last 19 games in all competitions. Head to head, well, the reverse fixture finished even at one goal apiece. And in truth, this game has been pretty difficult to call in recent years. There's no clear winner between the two, and the form is very mixed over the last few encounters. So there's a lot of pressure coming into this game for a match that could ultimately decide the title. With such a high pressure situation, I think we're looking at maybe a low scoring game in this one. Both sides are among the highest scorers in the league. And we've seen results between the two, like 4-1, 3-2, and a couple of 2-2s in recent years. However, I think we're looking at two sides here that are going to cancel each other out and won't be firing on all cylinders. For Liverpool, the reason is simply down to injuries. At the time of recording, Matip, Jota, Alexander-Arnold, Alisson, Jones, Gravenberg, Thiago, and Salah are all doubtful to play. And for Manchester City, whilst their form has started to pick up and they have that unbeaten streak that I mentioned... They have seen a lack of goals. Under three and a half goals have come in four of their last five games. All things considered, I'm going to be taking under three and a half goals in this bet. The market's not out yet, but if the under two and a half is anything to go off, I'm expecting the odds to be around even money. And I'm also going to pay respect to the firepower that each side holds. So I'm going to be taking under three and a half goals for a half stake in bet number three.